This is an urgent appeal to the international community. Burma is facing a third wave of coronavirus infection with the number of cases and deaths increasing dramatically. The third wave has affected over 90% of the country's population. Burma's death toll due to COVID-19 mostly lack of oxygen supply has been rising on a daily basis. Shortages of medical oxygen have been reported nationwide with people dying as a result of not receiving medical oxygen in time. Raising concerns that the country is unable to deal with the rapid increase in coronavirus infections. Hospitals are no longer able to handle COVID-19 cases. Many have died as a result of lack of oxygen at the hospitals as well as at home. An urgent shortage of medical oxygen is a new life-threatening problem for the people of Burma as the COVID-19 infection rate spreads like wildfire over the country. The oxygen factories cannot meet the demand. With deaths increasing, at an alarming rate, the price of oxygen cylinders on the private market has skyrocketed. But even with this rate paying, people are unable to obtain oxygen. Addition, Junjo has ordered the medical oxygen factories to stop selling oxygen cylinders and refilling services to the public and instead to give entirely to general. Moreover, the military is invading oxygen producing plants and stealing the gas for themselves. <sighs> Burma is in the midst of its most catastrophic wave of infections to date. Many quarantine centers stopped operating since the coup on the 1st of February 2021 and health officials have been detained by the general. Vaccinations have halted since then. Tritoning an explosion in infections. There are serious allegations that only around 2 million, which is only 3% of the country's 60 million people, have been vaccinated, which means that only military families and their supporters would be completely immunized with two doses. The percentage of persons who have been tested and proven to be sick is hovering around 25%. At the rate at which the numbers have been growing is clearly scary. Given the decline in testing, the true prevalence of infection is likely to be far higher. Burma is currently facing its most catastrophic outbreak of COVID-19 and facing devastating consequences. Burmese people are calling for the United Nations to evoke responsibility to protect 
a COVID-19 affected Burma where the Junjo is not protecting people but killing people by stopping the supply of the medical oxygen, medicines, and the medical equipment, arresting volunteers, nurses, and doctors, and above all, failing the effort to vaccinate the whole population by the democratically elected previous government, which is tantamount to committing crimes against humanity on Burmese civilian population. Additionally, the Junjo doesn't represent people of Burma. Furthermore, they are not helping people. They don't have the will to help people. And they don't have the capacity to help people. In Burma, we have been witnessing an alarming range of people dying due to the third wave of COVID-19 pandemic. As a result, tens of thousands of Burmese people's lives are at stake if the international community doesn't take timely action. People of Burma are calling for help to save Burmese population before it is too late, given that Junjo is clearly failing to protect civilian population. The time is now. Thank you.